Yesterday, police disarmed tripwires and explosive devices that authorities say were set up to kill people inside Holmes' third floor apartment. News Force Chris Nagus is in Aurora, Colorado with the latest. That was the sound of ATF agents setting off their own explosive device designed to dismantle the tripwire left behind by the gunman. It was the work of a man people in this Aurora neighborhood described as quiet and unassuming. I was waiting for the picture to come on TV, and as soon as I saw the picture, I goosebumps. I mean, I got goosebumps when I get it because I recognized him right off the bat. Sabrina Bricko works at the liquor store down the street from Holmes' apartment. So does Leroy Henderson. He's a friendly guy. Uh, Never caused any problems or anything. He'd just come in, get what he wanted, and, you know, pay for it, and then he'd leave. What do you typically buy? Uh, beer or maybe whiskey once in a while. They say they never expected something like this. Inside Holmes' 800-square-foot apartment, investigators found 30 explosive devices set up in the living room. The modest apartment is a short drive to the Century 16 Theater, where Holmes is accused of shooting 70 people, killing 12. Today, a makeshift memorial is growing. Tracy Pearson says her son was supposed to be at the midnight showing. And I couldn't reach him right away. And, you know, panic set in. She says for some reason her son chose another theater instead. All weekend I've heard from victims. This man was shot in the shoulder. This woman played dead to avoid getting shot. I could hear his footsteps, you know, creeping closer and closer. And that was really starting to make me freak out at that point. I was trying to stay calm for everybody. Did you think you were going to die last night? Oh, definitely. I had a gun in my face. The theater remains a crime scene. This Aurora family can't imagine ever coming back. I mean, how do you go and sit in the movie theater where this happened and not be watching the door instead of the movie? Chris will join us live this morning with more updates. That's coming up around 730 on.